Konnichiwa, and Teresa Desnia. Happy New Year! Is it is it too late to say Happy New Year because we're like almost two weeks into the New Year? Well, I I haven't said it on this channel yet, so Happy New Year! <laughs> I hope everyone had a nice winter holiday and a fun time celebrating the New Year. Uh, have ha have you noticed something about me? <laughs> if it's not that obvious to you. I got a haircut. I haven't had my hair properly cut since February last year. It's really short now. Um, I cut about uh, like that much off. Anyway, this video I just want to review my uh, 2015. This video is actually based on a status post that I did on my personal Facebook, but I thought I would do it in video format because uh, people like to watch me talk, I guess. Let's go! After three attempts of trying to get into the Twitch partnership program, I got accepted at the beginning of 2015. And with my Twitch partnership, I managed to gain 30 subscribers, which is actually pretty hard, especially if you don't stream consistently like me. But yeah, I, I really need to make streaming a priority for 2016 without having to rely on a friend. I went to Hong Kong and organized my first ever official meet and greet with my nyans. I honestly was only expecting about three to five people to come because it was a super last minute notice like I organized it the day before I was gonna fly back to the UK and um, about 18 of you came and it was just so <laughs> it was just super sweet everyone was so nice so supportive so kind and yeah it was really motivating for me honestly I felt like I was gonna cry when you nyans were like expressing your sweetness. Oh, I want to hug you all again. Although I took a break from cosplay by not making any brand new cosplays and not attending the major London MCM Comic Con events like I usually do, I was invited to be a cosplay judge at a renowned gaming event called Dreamhack, which um, this particular one, this one was held in Bucharest, which is the capital of Romania. It was my first time doing cosplay judging and it was really, really fun. I got to explore the beautiful city of Bucharest all by myself, which is something that I thought that I would never do and it made me realize that I am absolutely comfortable with being by myself. I've always disliked being alone when I'm out and about. I, I would definitely prefer doing things with a friend or a few friends. So if it ever came to the time when I had to do something alone, I would always seek to Facebook, checking what people were up to as a form of company. Being in a country that restricted my access to the internet, I got to appreciate the beauty that surrounded me without the need for company. I was also invited to Spain's Expo Manga event to do a panel talk about my cosplay hobby and my YouTube career as well, um, as well as um, be a guest judge at the Cosplay Masquerade. I wasn't expecting this but um, the organisers um, held a little meet and greet um, after my panel talk to meet my Spanish nyans and oh my god I ended up crying on stage because one of my nyans gave me her phone so that I could talk to um, one of her friends who is a super um, super nyan and she was just expressing how much um, she adored me and um, just expressing her support and it was just so lovely and so heartwarming that I, I ended up crying on stage in front of everyone and it was a little bit embarrassing but I, I held myself together and so that was a fun weekend in Madrid at Expo Manga, but I do wish I got the chance to explore Madrid better because I, I, I didn't get to go around freely like I could in Bucharest. In the summer, I did two panel talks at Summer in the City, which is a YouTuber's event held at the Excel Centre in London. Um, one panel talk was about Japanese inspired content and the other one was about ethnicity and diversity on YouTube. I was actually feeling pretty nervous even though I had experience um, at Expo Manga. Um, I actually had a translator so um, he did all the work and that made me feel less anxious because my nyans weren't that fluent in English. But anyway, both panel talks were successful and I left feeling pretty proud that I could speak to a live audience. Um, answering questions in front of a live audience whose main language is English. <laughs> Something I thought that I'd never be able to do because I stutter like mad. I think 2015 was a year that 
focused on friendship as well. I went to my first weekend getaway with a bunch of friends whom I can trust. Uh, we went to uh, Clacton on Sea, which is like east of England, north east. I I I don't know. Google it. Anyway, this trip made me realize who I really enjoy hanging out with and can be open with. It was mainly 2015 that I realized how important it is to be open with people. You don't have to be open with everyone, but just a select few and that's good enough. I never used to hang out with these bunch of friends in the past, even though they always invited me to every event they organized. and. I, I don't know why I never went. I kind of regret not hanging out with them in the past, but the past is the past and I have the future to look forward to with them. I'm more than happy to prioritise these lot. I'm also super proud of us for working so hard um, at all our Maid Cafe events. Um, if you haven't heard of us, we are I My Maid. Go Google us, check us out. I My Maid. But yeah, I'm really proud of us because we worked really hard, especially at um, Hyper Japan's Christmas market event. Um, that was our most successful event ever. I really look forward to all the fun events with these lot. I my maid all for life! After some silly kerfuffle with people, friendships, relationships, um, I got to talk to my friend again that I stopped contacting for some god knows and stupid reason. Um, we got to express our feelings and clear the misunderstandings of our friendship, so I'm really happy with that. Hopefully this year we'll slowly patch things up again and become the good friends that we once were. I think one of the best things of 2015 was being invited by Riot Games to be a featured cosplayer at the League of Legends Worlds event that was held in London. It was an absolutely fantastic deal for me to represent such a prestigious game and company that I absolutely love and hate. <laughs> Excluding how freezing it was at the time wearing my Arcade Misfortune cosplay, I can't express the positive feelings that went through my body during the time. It was just too amazing! And, and to be sat in the very front row where I could clearly see all the senpai pro players. I mean, like, if I was sat back there, like, I, I wouldn't have seen anything because my eyesight is just so bad. But yeah, that was an absolute privilege and even more amazing is that I got to share that, that, that feeling with my new cosplay friends that I made. And finally, I reached 250,000 Facebook nyans. 250,000. A quarter of a million nyans support me? Unfortunately, I didn't get to achieve the same amount of nyans on YouTube, but hopefully this year I will manage to get to 200,000 nyans. I'm hoping 2016 will be the year of collaborations. I said this last year, but it never happened. I said it the year before, it never happened. So fucking 2016, I'm gonna make it happen, okay? So yeah, last year was a really nice year for me. Um, I hope this year would be even better. This year, I've already got plans to go to Amsterdam, Japan, Barcelona um, in terms of trips. Um, other things, I want to learn to drive. Um, I want to stream more often because last year my streams were income free consistent. I want to do more YouTube collaborations and just really take on whatever opportunity comes my way. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this year in review video and um, look forward to what 2016 brings to my channel. Thank you for all the support that you gave me last year and I hope to continue getting that support for this year and more years to come. I'll end this video here. Uh, thank you for watching. Sayonara.